Okay guys, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to take that one. Let me put my basket over here. And then there's one down here hiding. Let's get you. Look at that guys. So beautiful. And then there is some back over here hiding that thought they could get away. But no, I'm going to get you too. They are so nice and firm, guys. And I want to get them before the sun can eat them up. And these marigolds are everywhere. Here's some more. And these purple ones that I thought tasted so awful, once they get that little orange tint to them, guys, they are delicious once they get like that while they're still green like that purple and green like that they taste awful but like this wonderful guys and i have some eggplants that i'm going to grab i have put some um diatonaceous earth on it to keep um the bugs away because they were starting to eat on this plant so I'm going to grab those. This looks like four on there and I'm going to take three. Okay guys, here's my three. They look pretty good. They just need to be washed off. i stop over here to show you guys how some of them I had to wrap in tool. I put a basket over them, put them on tool. And the tool actually helps them so when they get heavy, they don't just drop down to the ground because that's what was happening. So this one I have wrapped up so that uh, as it gets bigger, I need to do that one that's in there right there. Can you guys see that one? I need to wrap it up too. And that way, as it's leaning on the trellis, it won't just fall off. It's like some kind of support. And I'd like to thank all of you guys that was helping me to grow my okra. You, uh, I spoke to, well not spoke to, but I had emailed um, JT Jr. Grows in Alaska. I had spoken to him and he was asked, they were asking about how often do I fertilize and everything. So guys, I came out, I put some more um, soil on the okra and i put some amendments in it and look they're growing so well i am going to come and get those too you guys these tomatoes right here these orange tomatoes they are so delicious i thought they were supposed to be red but they're all orange and they taste absolutely delicious so i'm gonna grab these too you guys see that they are big. They're like bigger than those cherry tomatoes, but they are delicious. So I am going to put it in a salad. You guys, the more tomatoes I pull, the more I get. Look at this. I have more. And then more here, more there, more up in there, down there. So I am not trying to make this video, you know, to last forever, but I'm going to pull the tomatoes and I'll be right back, guys. As you guys can see, there's no shortage of tomatoes. The other eggplant was those Japanese long, and these are a different type. These are the, uh, I think they're called purple beauties. Can you guys see that? I'm going to pick those. Guys, I think I'll pull these two cucumbers also because my daughter has made a salad and so she has uh, eaten most of the ones that I've taken in there. So I'm going to take these two right here. You guys, I hadn't showed you my pomegranate tree as much because all of the pomegranates had fell off. But I started using this stuff right here and now all of these flowers came on and they're staying on so maybe it was just it didn't have enough new but this stuff right here it is eight 
16 8 so it makes 192 gallons so i put this on this tree and now it's just like new life has um uh, all the blooms on them and they're staying look how thick the back is getting to them let me see if i can show you guys see everything is staying and it's quite a few on there too all right guys my phone got hot so i couldn't show you guys the rest of the harvest i wanted to finish it and it's so hot outside i just didn't want to wait till my phone cooled down so i went ahead and did it and so i'll just go ahead and show you guys the harvest that i got all right okay guys here's my harvest have some bell peppers some squash um some zucchini um no some eggplant two types of eggplant I pulled some peaches off my tree, some cucumbers, some tomatillos, um, some banana squashes here, and some orange tomatoes here, some um, habaneros, many different kinds of peppers here, some shishitos, jalapenos, um, just some chili peppers. Um, I even have a couple of Carolina Reapers there. And guys, here is my cantaloupe. This cantaloupe smell so good you can like smell the scent of cantaloupe from like a mile away it smells so good and then here is my tomato harvest guys it is a great harvest i am so thankful all right you guys have a great day bye bye and i just wanted you guys to see how my brittle turned out it turned out great and i used some mixed nuts with that instead of just regular peanuts so it has a very good flavor. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.